Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube media tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own personal email address using your own domain with HostGator hosting. So to get started, just log into your cPanel and then scroll down and under mail, click email accounts here on the left. Then here you're going to set up your email name. So you can use a subdomain or your primary domain. So I'm going to use my primary domain, which is youtubemedia.com. Then choose an email name. You can make this whatever you want. So for an example, I'm just going to do contact at youtubemedia.com. Then enter a password, confirm it, and click create account. Really simple to do. And then it tells me my account has been created. And down here you can see the current active email accounts that I have created. So this is the one I just made right now, contact at youtubemedia.com. I can change the password, change the quota, delete it, or more actions. So now let's go back to the main cPanel, click home. And I'm going to show you how you can configure your email account with a mail client. But first I'll show you how to access your emails online in cPanel. So in the main cPanel, just scroll down and under mail, click web mail and then click go to webmail login. Okay, then you have three different online programs in cPanel you can use to view your webmail. So I like to use Squirrel Mail. They're all pretty basic, but you can just click read mail using Squirrel Mail. And then it brings you to here. And so you're now in your inbox. And now you can see it's very unattractive. It's a pretty basic email client on cPanel, but it still works. You can compose emails, delete them, view them, whatever you want. Now, because I have two different email addresses set up right now, you're going to have to make sure you're signed into the right one. So up at the right here, you can click Sign Out, and then click here to view login, and you're going to enter the address that we just created to make sure you're in the right one. Contact at YouTubeMedia.com. Enter the password, because I have contact at YouTubeMedia.com, and I also have YTM at YouTubeMedia.com. So we're going to make sure we're in the right one. Just click OK after that, and then read mail using Squirrel Mail. Okay, so we're now logged in the correct one. So what we can do is we can go and test it out. I'm going to log into my AOL. And we're going to compose a message to contact at youtubemedia.com. Hi, hi. And just go ahead and click send. And then go back to Squirrel Mail. And we can try refreshing. And ta-da, there's the email right there. So we now have webmail set up to receive and send emails. So now let's set up your email address with a webmail client. So we can close this, go back to cPanel, click on Home. Okay, now scroll down and under Mail, click Forwarders. And then you're going to click Add Forwarder. Now enter the email address we just created, contact at youtubemedia.com. Then under for to email address, th this is where you're going to enter your email address you want all your emails to be sent to. So I'm going to use my AOL one as an example. youtubemedia2 at aol.com. And then just go ahead and click add forwarder. And then go back. And there we go. You can see the current forwarders we have. So all emails sent to contact at youtubemedia.com will be sent to uh, this email address at AOL. So you can do this with Gmail, Hotmail, mail.com, whichever one you want. So you can make them all be forwarded to your email at another client. So let's try sending an email to contact at youtubemedia.com. Test out the email address we just created. youtubemedia.com, click hi, hi. And now it should forward a copy to your webmail on cPanel and this AOL address that we just created. So it'll send one to your webmail and to your uh, forwarder address. So we can check AOL. and Ah, there it is right there. See this? It, there's the email that I just sent right here. So it was then forwarded to from my cPanel all the way to my AOL email address. So there you go. That's how you set up your own email address and have them forward it to another mail client. All the links will be in the video description to the right. And thanks for watching.